Hi guys, welcome back to Warren Mechanics. Today we're going to show you how to replace the front strut on a Fiat 500. We're, uh, this is a brand new one we got it. It's uh, its original part, as you can see. It says one channel for my own Fiat. And we're going to demonstrate on the left side, on the driver's side, but it will be identical for the passenger side as well. Our has a bent strut and it's making a noise when you hit a bump. So what you need to do, you need to open the hood. Next thing. You need to make sure that you get your lug nuts loose, but don't take them off all the way. Just get them loose. And what you need to do now, you need to make sure that the jack is down, but have it ready right there, because it's a little bit of a complicated procedure on that thing. And now we need to start from the top. Right here, there is a nut with 19 millimeter socket. And if you cannot take it with a socket, you can, you can use a box wrench with Allen wrench to prevent it from spinning. So we're going to take this one off now first. Usually they are not very tight. So, and make sure that you spray some WD-40 or rust penetrating because they tend to rust here on top very, very bad. Okay, we got the nut loose all the way. And after you remove the nut, you can just pull that cover right here. All the way out. Okay, now we need to jack the side up and put the jack stand. Always safety first, don't rely on the jack itself. And we need to remove the wheel off. Of course, the four lug nuts, just take them off all the way now. Now we need to remove that link right here, suspension link. This is a 16 millimeter nut. And if it starts spinning freely, you need to use the Allen wrench here and the regular wrench. But as you can see, most of the time, you can just do it with the socket over a little impact or just the ratchet itself. Now what we need to do, we need to get a pry bar and you need to go right there, pry and you take the pressure off of it and pull it out on the side and let the thing go now, just careful not to hit the car. Next thing that we need to do, there is two nuts that we need to take here and here with a 17 millimeter socket. And those are usually pretty tight, so you need to use a big extension to do that. Break over bar or a big ratchet. And just take all the, all the way off, both of them. Okay guys, we took the nuts off all the way. Now we need to remove that, that's the sensor, the ABS sensor. You just pull it out of the groove. And now you need to lift up a little bit and push the bolt out of there. Okay, one by one. Just be careful, okay. Pull it out, as you can see that's, this is the second one and now you should be able just to move it out of the bracket. Okay now you can see the brake line is right here so we need to remove that spring right there that's preventing it from getting off the bracket. So you need to use the pliers, grab one end up, move it and it comes out of there like that and now you just pull it out of the shock. You can use just a little bit of the screwdriver to help you pry it out of the hole. It's usually pretty tight. Probably it will be more convenient to do that before you remove the bolt so the shock will not be moving everywhere. Okay, we go it back and forth and it will come out. And now you are ready to pull the whole strut assembly out of there. Okay guys, next thing all we need to do if you just doing the whole assembly replacement. That's it, you just put it back together the same way we took it apart, but we have another video you can find in the description below or on our channel how to actually swap the spring on the new strut because this way it's cheaper, the springs are usually good for a long time. The strut is the one that they often go bad. So check it out on our channel. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give us a like. We upload about a new video every day.